Whoa, great to be here. Let me start by introducing myself. I'm Jeroen, and I have hypertension. And so do my two brothers, and my daughter has juvenile diabetes, and my dad is recovering from cancer with major complications. And yet I, I believe we're a normal family. And if you think about it, many of the people here in the room have similar stories. I would say 50% of the population is already suffering from a chronic condition. And actually, I don't want to bring you down here because I really think that as we are here and you look around, one in every two males will get cancer in their lifetime. One in every three women will get cancer in their lifetime. But the good news is that with the technology that we're going to discuss today, we're going to actually allow these people to live long and fulfilling lives. So technology is on the cusp of really making dramatic, a really dramatic change in the way we provide healthcare. So we're no longer patients. You know, we're consumers of health. And the best way to illustrate it is to talk about his real life case of Eddie. So Eddie, we identified, was at risk. So a couple of factors indicated that he might be at risk for prostate cancer. So we asked him to come in and we measured his blood and we found out that there was an indication of, the, of a high risk of cancer. So we actually measured that blood at the point of care we interpreted it at the point of care so we could tell Eddie what was going on. We could give him all the information then about his uh, condition. So we asked him to come in. We took an MRI and we got confirmation that, uh, that there was actually a lesion. So what we did next is we gave Eddie the connection of all the other people that uh, had prostate cancer and enrolled them in a community. We took the MRI and we actually then took a needle uh, with real life guidance through ultrasound and took uh, a sample of the tissue. We took the sample of the tissue and we immediately on the spot diagnosed the type of cancer through digital pathology, which is actually a digital microscope. Then what we did next is we actually took a DNA sequence. And now we had a very, very precise diagnosis. Um, Eddie's reaction was, I gotta get rid of it. I gotta get rid of it, which is a normal reaction. But then we showed to Eddie that he could actually live with it. But he has to monitor it, and he has to adjust his lifestyle. He has to continue to be monitored because the alternative was actually worse. You know, if you do radiation, you have a lot of complications. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about capturing real-time data, interpreting it in real time, engaging the patient, and fitting the diagnosis and the treatment precisely to that patient. And then using the data to actually be able to compare the data with others. So what we're doing now, we're allowing the data to be shared in this case with cancer centers around the world. So if we see something out of the ordinary, then we can immediately share it. So it's pretty amazing that today you can actually take all that information. But it's not easy. Because I tell you, a digital scan is 500 gigs. A genome sequence is 500 gigs. And then we have all the data that comes streaming in, streaming in. So how do you deal with those data? And then if you look at what we're doing at Philips, Already today, we have 190 million people in the hospital, in the intensive care unit, where we stream their vital signs to monitor them in the intensive care unit. Now what if we can take these algorithms and apply it to 50% of the population that live with those chronic diseases? And you've seen all the wearables. We actually talk about implantables now that allows you to wear a patient monitor anytime. We have four million people that have lung disease and that have ventilators. We're connecting those ventilators. We can help people control their breathing. 
We have a thousand seniors with multiple chronic conditions every day being monitored at home so that they can stay together if it's an elderly couple and we can help them. So tons and tons of data, or should I say exabytes. So today already we have 390 million studies, imaging studies, that we manage on behalf of our customers. Now what a treasure trove of data. What if we start applying deep learning to that? What if we can start comparing all these specialist notes that we collected around this? So what we're doing is we're creating this Philips Health Suite digital platform where we combine that data. We combine the data from the studies, from the images, from the electronic medical records, from the input that we get from our patients, and we combine that so that we can allow people to make it actionable. Because data alone is not enough. It's got to become actionable. It's got to become actionable for patients. I need to take my medication on time. Hey, I have chest pain. I need to reach out. It's got to become actionable for the care team. The guy has chest pain. I look at his vitals. We need to triage help here. So decision support actionable. If we have these thousands of markers that we have to interpret in real time, we need the intelligence in real time to deal with that. And it's got to be a great experience. It's got to be an experience for, for the consumer. It's got to be an experience for the care team that takes care of the consumer and the specialist, the oncologist, the pathologist, the radiologist. So that's what we're building today. And we're doing that together with Amazon because we're talking about adding a petabyte a month. A petabyte a month. And we're doing that around the globe in 100 countries. So. There's only one company that we can do this that gives us the reliability and the scale and the performance. And we're opening this up. We're opening this up in the next quarter to allow all of you to work with us to create the reinvention of healthcare, to help us deal with all these consumers like yourself, like your friends and family, and these millions of people out there that need our help to really, really change the way we provide care Together with Amazon, we're going to do this on a global scale, and we're going to save lives together. Thank you so much. Thank you.